Hey guys, it's Kai Tales. A few days ago, there was a post about a Discord conversation hinting at clues about some upcoming DLC. The only thing that it said was that it's huge and really big. That's what she said. During the acceptance speech for Elden Ring's win of Game of the Year, Hidetaka Miyazaki said, As for Elden Ring, we still have several more things we want to do. Um, so this, getting this Goldie Award really, really encourage us. <laughs> While that isn't an outright confirmation about DLC, if there is any validity to this hint at upcoming DLC plans, then maybe they do have something huge and really big in the works. I've had a theory about what any DLC might possibly be for a while now, and considering some of the cut content for Elden Ring, I'm just throwing this out there so that when the time comes, I can later say, ha, I knew it. I'm imagining that it involves Saint Trina's dream world, Mikla's alter ego, and you're trapped inside this nightmare realm and you have to defeat Saint Trina of the Cradle Song to break the slumber of his bewitched minions. Maybe he has no idea that you've killed his sister and you wake up drugged and transported inside this nightmare hell realm that he himself can't escape from. It's kind of like Insidious when Patrick Wilson travels into his son's dream to rescue him. Two YouTubers named Lance McDonald and Sekiro Doobie made videos several months ago showcasing some of the cut content that appeared in the original network test that revolves around collecting dreams in order to create this liquor called Dream Brew, which was the drink of the demigods and it reveals the deepest, darkest secrets of those who drink it. There was also an item called St. Trina's Crystal Ball, and you can see a little sleeping Mikola right there cradling it and a lily right on top. Lance's original video looking into this cut content is great, and it goes into a lot more detail about this, so definitely go check that out if you want to see more of this dream mist content. Mikola's story is left unfinished by the end of the game, and as far as we know, he's either dead or dead asleep. And while there are a lot of references to St. Trina in the game, nothing really ever amounts from that. And considering that they had this mechanic of capturing dream mist from these sleeping creatures, and there's cut dialogue from other characters about the dream brew, it really seems plausible that any DLC could be a refinement of everything that was removed from the final release. A user on Reddit by the name of Eugenia Lisa made an incredible mock-up of how they picture St. Trina, and it looks like it's straight from the official art book. It is so beautiful and detailed in it, incorporates everything from the game, and it just made me want this Dream World DLC to be real even more. Bloodborne's DLC, from what I've read, also kind of takes place in the Nightmare Realm. So if they did do this, that could be a, a callback to their game. I know they like to incorporate little callbacks to their past titles. Some other speculations that I've seen are about a couple different areas on the map. One of them being this whirlpool area near Altus Plateau and the other is this big floating cloud in the center of the map. But if you go to both of those locations, you don't really see anything at all. So I'm just going to personally say, Nah, these are just for map decoration purposes. But if this DLC rumor is true, it could be a long way off. Armored Core 6 is coming out this year, and Hidetaka Miyazaki also he said at the war ceremony, But I have made up my mind to create even more interesting games than this one. Share your own theories about what you think the upcoming DLC possibilities might be if you think this rumor is true. And if anything does happen, then we will revisit this when there is official news and we'll see who is right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!